I'm Bishop E.W. Jackson, coming to you not as a candidate for office, but as a pastor and brother in Christ. Did you know that only 25% of self-identified evangelical Christians voted in 2012? 30 million did not vote. Black Christians, on the other hand, overwhelmingly vote for candidates who could care less about God or about the lives of unborn children or about preserving marriage as a union between one man and one woman. Imagine what would happen if Christians, instead of voting race or party, got together and voted for candidates who uphold biblical principles regardless of party. We would elect godly people who believe in our constitution and founding principles and our nation would begin to rise again. Instead, we've allowed ourselves to be divided by race. Black and Hispanic Christians, Protestant and Catholic, vote by and large for Democrats who then attack the very churches and faith we say we love. In California, churches have now been ordered to pay for abortions. California is controlled by Democrats. In Houston, the first openly lesbian mayor has subpoenaed the sermons of a group of pastors to see what they are saying about homosexuality and about her. They could face contempt and imprisonment for failure to comply. The mayor of Houston is a Democrat. What is it going to take to wake us up? What does God have to do to get our attention? This is just the tip of the iceberg. Christians are being denied employment, fired from their jobs, losing their businesses, facing discipline in the military and problems in school for daring to stand up for marriage as a union between one man and one woman. This is pushed by Democrats, and yet Christians vote for them. To keep voting for these people is destructive of our pastors, our churches, our constitution, and our society. How long do you think God will put up with that? Christians should be committed first and foremost to Jesus, not to a president, to principle, not party, to righteousness, not race, and to action, not apathy. I've heard the excuse that Democrats help the poor. Do you really think that we can defy God on the one hand and prosper on the other? The only thing Democrats have done is create more poor people, more unemployed, higher black unemployment, and lower income for those who are working. Democrats want a captive and dependent group of people who will vote for them at election time. Where are the poorest black communities in America? Where are most young black men being murdered? In cities controlled by Democrats. What are Democrats doing about it? Nothing. So you think Democrats love black, Hispanic, and poor people. They reward some of our so-called civil rights leaders if they support Planned Parenthood's mass abortion of our babies and march in the gay rights parade, but stand up with dignity and courage as a black or Hispanic Christian man or woman and say, this is against the word of God and I will not support it or vote for those who do. You will quickly find out how much they really hate you. On the first Tuesday in November, let's make history. Let's stand together as Christians, not as black or white or Hispanic, but as people who love the Lord and uphold the truth. The question is not whether a candidate is a Republican or Democrat. The question is who is on the Lord's side? Vote for candidates who honor God in the positions they take. Do not sell your soul and vote against the word of God for the sake of a Democrat party. Stan has launched a unity petition for religious and civil rights. It is on our website, standamerica.us. Included with the petition is a pledge to vote. On election day, let's come together as the people of God and begin to turn this nation back toward him. God bless you and God bless America.